Okay gang, welcome back to Scooter Rehab. We are back with another project. We have here a, I want to say 2014 New Speed 50, I think it is. Don't quote me on that. I gotta look at the title again. But if you can see, there is some assembly required. Picked this thing up a uh, hmm, week or two ago. Came the way you see it with a box of parts to go with it. Okay, let's walk around this thing and check it out. Now, the first thing I noticed, man, is uh, the throttle cable is hanging out, out here by itself. So, that should give you an indication of what's going on up under the seat. Front panel is missing, but it is right there in the box, and it appears to be unbroken. Let's look in the box real quick, see what we got. That fender, it does have a little broken mount there, but that's no big dealio. It comes with uh, two panels with, I guess, signal lights in them. Not sure. Never worked on this body style before. I hope everything is here. And here's another panel that I don't know where it goes. And oh yeah, I'm sure this is the rear rack. Cool. All right, and we have a broken mirror, nice. All right guys, well, like I said, I picked this bike up uh, a week or two ago, can't remember. But next thing we're gonna notice is the battery tray is missing and we have one of these Jump Blue Racing CDIs. You know, I hate these things. But it is what it is, that's what we're working with. All right, guys, gonna check the wires out here on the front. And this thing does not appear to be molested. Nothing cut. Everything looks good. Now, we do see a, brand, a wheel in the back here. Here's a replacement front wheel that came with the bike. Previous owner stated that the front wheel is warped, so he gave me another wheel. Doesn't match the back, but hey, we don't have to go source a wheel. So. The front wheel is warped. I'm hoping the triple tree is not bent. Because I don't know how you would bend the wheel and not break, mess that triple tree up. We're going to check it out. Alright guys, it does have the keys. That's the, that's a good thing. We got key itch. And some wires hanging out down here. Oh man, the dreaded orange uh, coil. Hate those things too. Oh, yeah, and we're missing the exhaust. Okay, so we're going to have to address that too. Alrighty, guys, let's go to the seat. We got a bag of bolts that came with it. The original tool kit that came with the suit. All in all, this thing is looking it's in pieces, but everything is here so far. Let me set the seat down. All right, guys. Well, now we know why the uh, throttle cable is off. We do not have a carburetor. And from the amount of dust under here, this thing has been sitting a while. Yep. Now, I did check the engine when I uh, first got it. It is free. So, GY6s are like Chevys, dude. If the engine is not locked up, it's going to run if you know what you're doing. All right, guys. Um, I guess uh, we need to first source a carburetor and find us a battery, and then we can get started. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and dig out a battery and uh, dig up a carburetor, and we'll get going. Okay, gang. It is several days later, and as you can see, a lot has changed. We got a little shot to work out of now. I'm gonna stand out on the patio in the hot blistering sun. All right. We all still got the old Venice over there. We just finished it before we started this whole shed building thing. So I just posted it online this morning. So hopefully it won't be here by the end of the day. All right, guys, I got myself set up, man. Look, I got my toolboxes, my workbench that was sitting way back in the corner. You guys might have seen it on a couple of videos sitting up against the wall. Oh, look at here. Yep, TV set up with Scooter Rehab. 
why don't you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe okay all right guys straight to the business all right now we got the new speed 50 i think this thing is called up on the table and uh i was looking at these body panels right in here and i realized these are the uh signals they bolt down here somewhere some kind of way i had figured it out a little while ago but there we go so all right now i was going to construct to destruct but i figured the panels out now so we're not gonna do all that okay guys so now when we last left off we were needing a carburetor see the carburetor is missing now off the purple Tao Tao VIP I think it was the first scooter on this channel we had this carb and it, it did run you know a little bit but yeah we need to go ahead and clean this thing up and you can see somebody has already made this a whole lot easier for me a lot of these screws have uh, snap off studs that when they close the bowl the tips snap off somebody has already went and gone through the trouble of cutting lines in it so we can uh, make our flatheads out of these things and take the bowl off so that's cool all right guys well we're gonna go ahead and drop this thing in my old ultrasonic cleaner i've been waiting to use this thing again i mean i am in love with this i've rebuilt a couple of car carburetors and one scooter carburetor before but if you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner man you need to get one and as you can see I need to clean mine out. <laughs> yeah. It's a little dirty in there. Okay, guys. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this thing and get it in the ultrasonic cleaner. We're going to get it all cleaned out. And if the jets don't clean in the ultrasonic cleaner, I have my carburetor um, jet kit cleaner or whatever you want to call it. All right, so let me get some... Uh, Pine saw in this baby, get it crunk up and get it going, and I'll be right back with you. All right, got the carburetor all broke down, placed into the basket of the um, ultrasonic cleaner. Now I have a smaller parts here in this little um, screen mesh little ball that they provide with the thing. Uh, the carburetor gasket did break on there. I'm not sure. I think that carburetor was leaking out the bowl on the other one. I got another one over here that I'm going to see if the bowl is going to be. Can we use the uh, gasket off another one? If not, no big deal. I got a solution for it. Alrighty, so the, I'm going to have to replace this needle here. I don't know what in the heck they did to bend that needle. That's crazy. Alright, and the spring that goes on top of the needle seat here. It went flying over there in that corner, so I gotta go look for that too right now. Alright guys, I hope this fan is not too loud, man. Um, I do live in Vegas, this is a metal shed, and it is summertime. So, I got my old swamp cooler hooked up, blowing in here, and I mean, it is nice and chilly in here. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get the top off the ultrasonic. Let's let these parts start cooking and cleaning while I go locate the other parts. Ah. All right now, don't want your basket to be touching the sides. That is a big no-no. Oh, that water is hot. It says it's only 37 Celsius, but I got it set to 76, but I think that's hot enough. I got the old pine saw, well, the pine glow. This is what I had in the house, so, you know, we're going to see if it's going to work as good as pine saw. Now, I've watched uh, some guy on YouTube uh, had a video of this. And he uses like uh, old peanut butter jars. He put gasoline in his parts inside the peanut butter jar. And just pours water in here. And that seems to clean them pretty good too. But uh, I don't have no peanut butter jars. So we're just going to go with what we got today. Uh, let's check. Make sure it's not touching the corners. All right. And I usually set this thing up for 15 minutes, so we're going to set it to 15. All right. Let's see the 
dust on top of this sucker is vibrating. She's doing her thing. All right, well, this thing is doing this thing. I'm going to go locate another car to see if we find a, uh, a good gasket, man. Uh, one with a good needle. All right. Oh, real quick, man. This ultrasonic is no cleaner. I mean, uh, no joke. That's what I meant to say. Now, this is a jet that was all clogged, man, and it's it's clear now. Listen. Blows straight through. You can see daylight through it now. Look at that. All righty. So, yeah. I'm going to hit bang this thing back together, guys, and uh, get it on the bike, and we're going to see how it runs. Fire up. Got blinkers or anything? Okay. Got left blink. Well, yeah, left blinker, right blinker. Got a horn. Can't test the lights, it's not hooked up. Let's just hit it. Oh shoot. You're not gonna hit nothing if you don't hook up this uh CDI. <laughs> okay. Let's try it now. Couple pumps. Couple more pumps. Let's see if I can see that accelerator pump working. Oh yeah, she's a squirting. Tell you these GY6s are like Chevys, man. You can't kill them. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slap an exhaust on this bad boy real quick. Let me show you guys what exhaust I have. Two uh, off the tripod. You guys gotta go with me. Okay. Now, it wasn't exhaust on it when I got got it, but. My boy Shane, he did give me the exhaust that came with it, but the problem is it's broke here. So it's broke right there. But he did let me have a replacement pipe. So there we go. And right, I'm going to make these two marry each other and get it on the bike. And uh, we're going to see what it sounds like then. I'll be right back to you. Houston we have a problem and <laughs> the muffler is on but it doesn't quite reach the engine it's kind of shifted backwards too look at it from this angle yeah, it doesn't quite line up no big deal but you know, I'll just cut it off and I guess we weld it on or not We'll figure it out. I think I got a couple more pipes in there. I might just try before I go to all those extremes. And another thing is, uh, this pipe is like is made to angle downwards. I got angling up this way. Truthfully, I'm not mad at it, but let's go ahead and crank this bad boy back up and see what it sounds like now. Hope the battery ain't dead because I left the key on. Ooh, what was that? The starter did not engage. Let's try that again. Oh, ain't that about a good year blimp? There we go. That started not engaging is concerning. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, pull the case and take a look at that. No big deal. I got a couple starters around here. But I need to hook up the electric choke. And I'm not seeing the wire for that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. All 
Alrighty, hold on. Alrighty, so let's crank it up again and see where the light will down. And there goes that starter again. Guys, I got the bike up in the alley. We're gonna shoot up here and find out if this thing has a little boy kit in it. Now, when it came across the street, it did feel kind of a little bit more, a little peppy, but one way to find out. In Chinese inaccurate speed odometer. Say we're doing about 40 just now. So it's going up to the top and we'll come back down and then we'll try a flat street. Okay, gang, one thing I do know for sure, I am going to have to uh, up jet this carb. It has a little pop at the end, but um, yeah, I mean, she maxed out the little gauge here. It says 50 on the miles per hour side of things, but you know, these Chinese uh, clusters are highly inaccurate. I'm going to have to uh, hook up to the GPS on my phone. I can't do it while I'm using the GoPro app, so I'll have to confirm that a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it runs good. I'm going to have to uh, idle up the carburetor because uh, if I let go, she wants to die. So, but other than that, guy, this thing, she's strong. I do believe it has a bore kit. Let's go back. This is pretty good. We're going to check it out on this flat land real quick.
guys, it maxed the gauge out on flat land. Head on back to the crib, man. Uh, this sucker runs pretty good, man. Hey, I believe it has a big board kit in it. We got all the way up to um, the 50 mark on the speed up. You guys can see that. But um, like I gotta say, these Chinese uh, speedo dominoes, they're not really accurate, but hey, man, she's doing what she's supposed to do if she had a board kit in it get on back to the house guys and um guess we can clean this thing up all right gang got the bike all wiped down right off now she's running again so we all good I had to take a minute and clean my table back up man this thing is like my pride and joy my knee saver 2000 you know all right guys here's the colors i'm going with i'm going with a like a pastel gray like a primer color but gloss and black now we know we see these colors now all over these pastel colors are all over the car market you got your pastel blues greens grays so that's the colors we're gonna go with guys uh, mainly all of the black body panels like uh, that panel laying over there that will be gray now um, when I bought this bike, my boy Shane over at Budget Scooter Parts of Las Vegas, check him out. He is uh, Shane5999 on um, on the old eBay. If you need Mad Dog parts, he is your guy. He has Mad Dog frames, body parts, body panels, the battery box, engines, everything that you need. So once again, that is Shane5999 on eBay or Budget uh budget scooters of las vegas yeah so he hooked me up with an exoskeleton that goes with this scooter and it's pink so we're going to paint the exoskeleton part the black the gloss black and the main all the the body panels that came on the scooter the way you saw it all of those will be in the pastel gray i'm excited to see what that color combination is going to look like because you know hey i see those cars and i love them man i drove a uh Kia Stinger today that was in that color and it just hit me that's the color that I want to paint my scoop so all right guys uh, I guess when we resume we're going to start painting it the pastel gray and putting this bad boy back together one two
all the parts washed and clean and they all dry we're gonna go ahead and just start painting them all up i'm going to have to move them around to better areas because i don't want to spray paint my uh my patio area here so let's go ahead and get started Okay, gang, I got all the body panels painted. They're looking pretty good. Pretty good, except for those. For some reason, that matte black, well, the gloss black paint, it starts spitting. And uh, cooled the can off because it was a little warm. Tried again, spit again, had to sand it down again. Went and got another can, maybe, hey, maybe a defect with that can. And uh, I sprayed it. Again, it spit, but not bad as it did the first time. Also, yeah, I got this part of the exoskeleton too painted. So, it came out pretty good, and that was with the first can. So, I'm going to lay it on here, let you guys see how it's going to look. Now, that exoskeleton just lays over top of it like that. And uh, these pieces, which I got to be careful because I just painted them about 30 minutes ago. Still a little tacky. All right, let's figure out which one this goes to. And I think, nope. Yep, maybe. Oh, this one. Nope. Yep, maybe. Let's see, does it line up? Yep. Okay, so that's pretty much how the exoskeleton will sit on top of the uh i guess the under panels and that's what it's going to look like so i still have to paint the floorboard here some of the tripod and the uh leg shield and the panel that goes under the seat but i'll do those in a matte black don't want to paint those in shiny black because it's just not going to look good after a while all right guys we're going to go ahead and go into a little time lapse and i'll start putting this bad boy back together
we got the bike all back together and she is looking good check it out you got all the panels back on except for the battery cover i had it and i gotta go find it but we'll worry about that in a minute got the front end on yeah that black exoskeleton over that pastel gray is looking great it's looking really 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 good all right and i went ahead and uh buffed out the light the light lenses and everything i think i mentioned that but i do gotta stop and buff out the uh speedo yeah, it's no big deal i do that by hand it's not really that bad i've seen way worse and if you guys are going to buff out the lens you need one that needs to be buffed just you know no machine or nothing you can do it all by hand just got a little blue shop towel and we'll just work it in there work it in there let's say you don't need nothing special just some wax no hand towel a little microfiber cloth here and there we go how it was how it is now so yeah guys this bike is done man in fact let's crank it up and make sure it still runs now my brand new battery that I just bought and put in there is dead uh, you can still hear the battery charge over here humming it was on charge uh, Ooh, four or five hours and now nothing it's completely dead so oh well i'm sure the kickstart works we tried it before so let's, let's fire this bad boy back up make sure everything is on yep thing off I uh, give myself carbon monoxide poisoning but here it is guys it runs oh, still got to put the hook on okay no big deal and the other mirror no big deal either all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and uh tune in for the next one I have a very custom very special project that I've been kicking around inside my head for the last 10 years or so. And it's uh, about time for me to go ahead and pull that one off. I got most of the parts to get it started. So on the next video, we're going to be doing a full custom build. Instead of just this, you know, get them running, give them a nice new little neat paint job and send them on down the road. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to Scooter Rehab Lab, and I'll see you on the next one.